Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, this is gonna be a good one, y'all. And not to mention, um, I'm doing like a two-part series. I might make it three, but I'm doing like a two-part series. I'm trying to break it up, pretty much do something new, something different that these bloggers or whoever ain't doing, right? But anyway. If y'all remember two days ago, I posted on the Hookah Anonymous official Instagram page that Straight Drop allegedly has the same attorney that represents CMG artists such as Black Youngster, Moneybag Yo, and Yo Gotti himself. And that same attorney, who is Arthur Horn, doesn't just look at these guys as clients, but he expressed plenty of times through Instagram captions that these guys are in fact family to him. Alright, now make sure y'all remember that. I said that if you ain't following the Instagram as well, make sure you do so at hookah anonymous underscore. That's where we post things we can't post on here. And that's where you find a lot of things first before it gets heavy media attention. Now in this video today, we're going to be breaking down who this attorney Arthur Horn is, his affiliation with CMG and how this one little move could be a very, very, very big mistake for your guardian and CMG. So make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear. It's lit here. So join one of the latest gangs on YouTube so you can stay updated with some of the realest content. Now, let's get straight into it. Now, before we even get into that, right? Um, Have anybody else peeped how once it came out that Straight Drop got arrested and there's a third suspect and Straight Drop is using Yo Gotti's CMG lawyer? Notice how... Once all that came out, suddenly NBA Youngboy puts out a song dissing King Vaughn and Old Block out of nowhere that got everybody talking and going back and forth. <laughs> what a coincidence, huh? Now, I'll tell you what it is. It's a big distraction. So make sure y'all pay attention because it's a lot of things that are going to be rolling out very soon. Now, um, continuing on, your boy Arthur Horn. He's a criminal justice attorney out of Memphis. He has a slew of high profile clients, especially when it comes to Memphis. And he's the head of law offices of Arthur Horn III PLLC. Now, for those that, you know, just see the glitz and the glamour and says, oh, you know, he's a lawyer. He could do no wrong. He's not shady. Well, guess what? There's also a very dark side of Arthur as he was accused of rape, kidnapping a woman and that he dated my fault, for three years in 2017, but he was found not guilty. However, a year later, he wasn't so lucky as he was sentenced to 30 days in jail, followed by 11 months and 29 days of probation in 2018 for an assault charge. Now, even with the rape and kidnapping allegations and assault conviction, his law license still remained intact. Now, let's focus on the alleged rape and kidnapping charge because that one happens to be very, very strange. Now, the story goes like this. Horn was invited by the victim to meet her at the Brookhaven pub that evening of February 28, 2017. Now, it was said they both drank heavily alcohol, ate dinner, and played a trivia game. They returned to her home after in East Memphis, where she said that's where he began to rape and assault her. Now, get this. There was a video shown in court during trial that actually showed the victim running from her house and a naked Arthur Horn running after her seconds later to bring her back inside. Now, also, a neighbor testified that he heard the victim's cry for help earlier and decided to call the police. Now, the victim ran out the house a second time, but this time the police was outside shortly after. Now, when Arthur Horn realized what happened, he left her house, creeping out the back door, and lit um, and then later turned himself into police. Right now. I don't know about y'all, but something just doesn't sound right to me in that case. All right. I'm not going to flat out accuse him of anything, but I would like to know what made that woman so frightened that she had to run from this man out her own house. Why did the neighbor hear her crying? What was going on? And if he was innocent, why did he creep out the back door? All right, now let's be real, y'all. This man is an attorney, not to mention in college, he joined and pledged for the fraternity Kappa, uh, Kappa Alpha PSI. And I bring that up because a lot of attorneys often come from these fraternities 
um and let's just say that it's a lot of perks you know you get a lot of breaks and if you know you know so when i sit here and see that this man was acquitted of all those charges and heavy allegations where a lot of things are questionable given the video that was shown in court and he was still able to keep his law license it only makes me wonder how deep that rabbit hole actually go keep in mind it's the same attorney that got black youngster off that shooting involving young Dolph, where he was clearly in the wrong but for some reason i guess arthur worked his lawyer magic now we gonna keep that there man um in the two-part series in the next one i'm gonna tell you why and how this correlates to uh cmg and yo Gotti and why this might be the biggest mistake of yo Gotti's career and he could potentially put himself a hard way so stay tuned for part two man don't forget to like comment share and subscribe hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content and remember as long as y'all keep on watching i'm gonna keep on dropping and i'm out